Hello, everybody. This is Jerry DeMeo from MortgageZoom.com and Family First Funding. And the topic for today is Realtors, Social Media Insanity. And I'd like to bring on my special guest um, from Spark Tank Media, from Family First Funding, Jeff Lobb. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks for joining again today. So I know this is a topic that's really dear to your heart. It is near, very near and dear to me, for sure. A little passion behind it, baby. A lot of passion behind it. Because, <laughs> listen, for years, honestly, you started coaching me on this almost six years ago. And over the last six years, we've seen a lot of new social media streams becoming important. We've seen, yes. um, you know... Some things may be becoming less important. Some things becoming more important. And you told me that five years ago that we were going to have to find out what, where the people were. Right. And I wanted to get in touch with. Right. So, 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 Jeff, I, I have to ask you this because we see it a lot. What are some of the issues you see right now with, with realtors, with loan officers, like things that they're doing in social media that they think they need to be doing social media. So I'm going to do this the easy way. Like, what are you seeing? Jeff? What are you seeing right now? Jeff? Yeah. And let's face it, you know, social media is really today's marketing. It's today's internet. It's what it is. It's not even like a thing. It's, it's what life and business is. And, you know, some people look at it as like, Oh, it's another thing I got to do. It's another thing I got to learn, but no, when I hear people say, like, I don't have time for social media, what I hear is I don't have time to market to customers and I don't have time to market to new customers. And we just think of it as just another thing. So the, the challenge you see is it's not easy. There is no such thing as an easy button. And too many people want the easy button, which, you know, tends to go towards automations, which tends to go to let me hire. And there's some variables in here. I'll cl we'll clarify these. But let me hire a company to do it for me because I don't have time. And to me, the word antisocial comes up. It's like the antisocial <laughs> of social is, you know, and I, I joke all the time. Hey, I'm going to go on a blind date, but I don't have time for that. So I'm going to send somebody in my place because I don't have time. Right. It sounds crazy, but it is such a personal world we're in and such a transparent world we're in. And there's so many people missing the opportunity that is really free other than time to share. So it's, it's a, it's a big, big loss for what people are trying to make of it. And just the fee, it's either fear or they believe time and we need to get people past that. And what, what do you, when, when you just, when you were talking about, you know, like, hiring people you you said hey let me clarify let me clarify this so what do you what do you so there's a difference between hiring a company to yeah. post generic things for you daily correct and hiring a company to almost follow you around and 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 do create some social media um yeah, create media around your life, your day, your business, your work, your day-to-day -day stuff. And people, you know, always used to, years ago, it used to be it used to be like, Jerry, well, who cares where you're at? Who cares what you're eating? The reality is everyone cares and everyone's paying attention to it. You know, when you go back, let's go old school for a second. Take social media away. Like when you had to advertise in the newspaper or in the phone book and you get asked, okay, well, why'd you put it in there? Why did you put a big ad in the phone book and pay for a thousand dollars for us, a quarter page ad? And the answer was, is because that's where people are going. That's where they're looking. Well, same thing. <laughs> this is where people are looking. And, you know, the reality is, yes, when people pay a company that doesn't capture the real true person of you, people, remember, brands are amazing. Companies are the vehicles to your product lines. It's the culture you choose to live in. However, people will buy from people. And while you are the brand within your brand. So, you know, you might have the best brand in the world, but if you are not that right person, people just won't buy from you. So you still have to have that captured like and trust just because your brand is strong doesn't mean people are just going to automatically default to go, here's my money. I'll take it. 
So, or trust you, especially with the stuff you deal with, the amount of loans and their life in your hands of, of where they're going to live as a family, trust is the most important thing you got. So I, I, I also, per, this is personally, and I also see it with a lot of, I, I see it with some, some realtors where, where they can, where there's not a balance, e, where there's not a balance either. Like I have seen some people that are doing all their time on social media. Yep. And not, and not actually, and anything. not actually doing any deals. Right. <laughs> right. Like, we don't need another social media guru. We just need a, a better marketer. Right. Like, so, so do you want to be a celebrity on Instagram or TikTok, or do you, or, or do you want to sell as many homes as possible or write as many loans as possible? And where's the balance there? Honestly, that's the biggest challenge I have personally, like, like time. Because no matter what, as a loan officer, I could have the best social media posts mm -hmm. and I can have the cutest videos and I yeah. can do the most things. But if I'm not writing loans, that's right. It doesn't really matter. True. So so finding the balance is is important for me and remembering what I am in the in the whole that that's a really good point. Remembering what you are and who you are. You are, you know, you are in the the loan originating, the, the helping people move their family business. And you're right. you got to know who you are. You don't want to be one or the other. Um, I think it's really good. You, you said that because it's, it's like you find out who you are, but it's like saying this, you know, no one needs a company to just auto post stuff. I mean, I don't need just articles and I don't need some generic meme. You like do what bathroom do you like best? You know, oh, the recipe for the day or <laughs> from it, it's, and that's the reason I, that's the reason that session I did was called social media insanity, because that is the true definition of insanity. I've joked with for years is people would do that on their Facebook business page. They make this post or it's an automation of a post and you get one or no likes. And then, you know, three days later, the same thing happens again, or someone does it for you or some company you're paying a couple hundred bucks a month is posting it because they're doing your social for you. I don't have to do it. You get one or no likes. And then again, one or no likes. It's like, what's the purpose of that? There is no result. There's no engagement. There's no personality. And yet we just think we're doing our job. So that's too, ro it's too robotic to save your money. So no one needs another one of those. And then secondly, if I needed that kind of information, that's what we have Google for, right? What I want to know is you, the hu human being, who are you? What do you do? What do we have an interest? What, what's commonality that I will actually engage with you to like and trust you? as if we were in person. So uh, last week on, and we're referring to um, a seminar we did, a Zoom seminar we did last week at, with with Jeff and, and a whole group of top producers around the country, which I'm gonna, is gonna be shared in this chat. So that if you wanna go in and look at it, just go to the chat and you'll be able to click on the link and, and watch because that's the beauty of, of some of these things. They're always there to go back and see at another time or. Or, or view. So, but I want to ask you, just refresh. You challenged everybody to do three things. Well, they're not three things to do one thing. It involved three things, but what can, can you just tell us right now what that challenge was? Yes. So the challenge was, is that if, if you can get to a point, whether it's in the next six months, the next three months for that, when you meet somebody so that they can actually identify three personal things about you as a person, other than the career you're in. So in other words, what do you like to do on weekends? Are you a dad or grandparent? Or do you like boating? Do you like, what can they say when they see you? Would they clearly know those three things or at least three things of your personal world? And I think that's a good challenge to start because that starts to get you. Remember, if you started sharing stuff about, you know, your son or your coaching or whatever you're doing, we, uh, we find something in common. It could even be the location you're in that we have commonality from. And, you know, you grew up there. I grew up there. So the challenge was three things that people will know you for other than your career. That's the challenge. So, so I'm going to be honest, Jeff. So I, 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 I watched, I was on the video. I was, I, I, w I was in the group and, and, you know, you challenged me. You also mentioned, you know, you mentioned TikTok and, and how in the beginning we didn't really know if TikTok was going to do anything to help. Right. Like, was it a kiddie channel? Was it, was it, 
Was it for real estate? And and you noticed that that people who mattered were starting to use yeah. it. Yes. Um, very influential. <laughs> very influential. So I, you know, I've been doing videos for quite some time. I've been trying to listen. I've been doing mortgage related videos. I've been doing you know real estate related videos. I do videos with you. You know, I'm on YouTube like we're on right now. So I've yep. been, I've been. This is years though of of putting this in my in my in the what I do as part of what I do, and yeah. and years, you know, like and and everyone thinks it's a magic ticket. Oh, if I start posting on social media, I'm going to get all kinds of business. What I know for me is my business from when I started doing things on social media. And it's social media is 100% not the only reason for my business to have increased or, and, and flourished. But right. it's consistency year after year, all that. that like Because what most people will do is they'll do it for a week or a month. Yep. And they won't get any deals the second month from it. And they'll say, oh, this is a waste of time. I, it's not bringing me any business. Right. That's, I see. So so Jeff challenged us to post personal things about ourselves to help drive people to our page, our followers, and all that. And, and, and be, because these algorithms for these companies – like personal more than business, to be honest. Like, like, and and so I'm going to share the screen for a second, Jeff. So last week, yep, Friday, we had this meeting with you on Friday. So right. last week on Friday, I said, okay, well, I'm going to share something. You know, I'm going to share something personal on here, like a personal thing, and and to help drive my overall traffic to my page. Now, I want to say, now, if you see, I, I'm, I'm going to share this video. I'm going to see if it pops up for everybody. So yeah. I did a I did a personal video. Um, this is with my son learning how to swim, you know, a little little bit scary. And I and I posted this on Instagram. Now, now, listen, and and I love it because I would want it to share it anyway, to be yes. quite quite honest. Because it was a, as a dad, it was it was like a real exciting moment for me. But here's what it did. So so this video has driven 156 thousand viewers in only a three. We're on the start of day four in a four day period. Twelve thousand likes and a thousand comments. But more importantly, what it's done, do you see this video that shows 6,000 views? And do you show this video that shows 2,000 views? And this, this mortgage video that I did that shows 2,000 views? Well, what's happened is that this video has, has caused all the other videos to be viewed because it's bringing people in, in to look at everything about my life. Yep. And and to me, that was that was really one of the most important things that Jeff was talking about. Like you have to get people in so they want to know more about you. So when they know more about you, because if you if I only post your weekly mortgage rate update videos and all that stuff, no one never no one unless you're really into that, no one really cares. And and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook aren't actually going to be sharing that right. <laughs> like. They're not even going to post it so people have the chance to view it or share it or all that stuff. And, you know, and the other the other message, too, for those who are like, you know, and I'm I'm the first one to tell you, like, no one needs to have. I mean, if you have it, great. But no one needs to have 50,000 followers, a million followers. I mean, if you have it, it's a whole different business model, right? Because now you're generating revenue from it. Because let's face it, between us, I could hire a company, spend a couple grand, and I could have 50,000, you know, followers in like a week. But they're, they're, they're a bunch of bots and fake and people all over the like world that I have no idea what I do or where I'm at. I'd rather all have all over the world. They're mostly from China and India and like, yeah, parts of the them. world. That are, that, those aren't the people that matter for following you. I'd rather have a couple thousand that are either in my my tribe, my surf, that enjoy what I do, support what I do. To me, it's about the quality, not quantity. So, you know, it's got to be, to me, organic video is so much better 
than just, you know, copy, paste, copy, paste, and just that automation stuff, because that's what's really going to drive the business. Unless, of course, you want to go down a different road and be a different career of, I want to be a social media person instead of a loan officer or realtor. Then you go chase numbers and volume and try and generate revenue from that. Not the business. Right, and then, then you're not, you're no longer in the real estate or mortgage business. You're in a different business and you're doing real estate and mortgage right. on the right. side. <laughs> I don't need like it, it, so many people that I know have written checks or credit cards to go. I got 10,000 quick. Eh, okay. But if I looked at those followers, kind of like yeah. a, not to even get political, look at like when Elon Musk, whether you love him or not, when he did a little diligent due diligence on Twitter and said, Hey, show me how many real customers you have versus how many bots are there. All of a sudden like, Whoa, I don't know if I can show you that many because there's a lot of bots in there. Just fake artificial crap doing work. I don't, I can't do business and you can't give a loan to a bot or a fake person. So listen, there, there are, there are, there are lots of videos on, on, on YouTube right now about that buying likes and views, and it actually hurts your organic. It, it actually, all this data shows that it actually hurts right. your organic views. That's right. There's no quick and easy way to do this. So if we had to leave everybody, Jeff, with a few a few things. Hey, Jeff, I'm a realtor. You know, um, <laughs> what do I today? What should I start with? A few simple things today. What should I do to to have a better social media presence? Do I post my listings? Do I post my things? Like, like, what is what is your opinion, Jeff? What are the first few things I can do? Maybe I put you on the spot with this, but maybe probably not. Probably okay. not. Like, not what are <laughs> probably not? What are a few things I can do um, today to help boost my social media presence and not waste time? On social yeah, media. time is the critical part, right? right. And when you say time, I, I want you to uh, let's address that quick and I'll give you the couple tips. So the time thing is you have to always buffer time in your calendar and schedule for sales and marketing. It's part of your job, right? Without customers, we don't have business. So sales and marketing. So you have to carve out time for that anyway. Most people don't. They just, they're looking for their next deal. They're not sure what they're doing. Their calendars are half empty. Either way, so you bounce. The biggest challenge is some people get home at seven, eight o'clock at night. They're sitting on the couch going, okay, I'm going to make a post. And they don't have anything to play. What do I post about? So the goal is capture your content throughout the day anyway. Get it into your phone, on your camera, whatever device you're using. Just capture those photos. Capture that little video snippet. Hey, I'm downtown, grab my, my favorite cup of coffee. Little 60-second video. They're, like Just do that throughout the day, not having to say, well, let me stop now and figure out how to post it, and I'm sitting in the heat. No, just capture the stuff. Once you have it captured, you could post it at 11 o'clock at night. You can get up for your cup of coffee in the morning and do it. Now your time is flexed once you have the content. So the goal is just get used to, look, if you snapped a hundred photos, not that you would, it still costs you nothing, right? There's no dollar right. expense to it. You could delete them if you don't like them. Just get your device and capture the video snippets, the ideas, or the places you are and what you're doing. Once you have it, the data and content's there. Now it's just the execution. Too many people just don't have the content. Oh God, they look at their phone and device and go, I don't know. I don't know. And they start scrolling. I have nothing. And then they stop. So that's, that's the one tip. And then secondly, is just really, um, we've got to loosen up as a, a, a personality. You know, we are in a sales related business and our, the way we build like and trust is different today than we always did before. It was always, I can only build like and trust when I got to meet you in person. I showed up at your store. I mean, we might've talked, you might've had an inclination of who I am a eh, little bit of like or not, but when we got together, and met or had lunch and then we got to know each other that's when it started now it starts way earlier in the sales process people will make an assumption to do business with or without you before they even meet you before they even meet you so you could be losing a lot of business and just don't see it because they're just not getting to you so we've got to understand the sales process of like and trust starts way earlier whether you like it or not they're going to vet you and look you up and see what you do or not do and if you don't have that presence, they might also think you're not, a, you're not a player. You're not in the business. That's an assumption they can make. So our sales process is the message starts way earlier to build like and trust. So we've got to do a better job here so that when we get there, it's almost, it's almost. It's, it's like they already met, they've already met you. 
hundred percent. They know everything about. It. They know my. They, they say, "How's kids. your kids? How does all, how the how the lacrosse game go this weekend? How how listen? Right. I actually get that. I actually I get that. Do you know three personal things about my world. Do you know three personal things about my life? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I know right. you like to hunt. I know you. I know you. You like. I, I know you. I know you had lacrosse. I know like like. Sports, football. I mean, you know, sports, football, lacrosse. Like, like, I know all your kids. I know all, all, all of it. I know who's in, who likes band, who likes, who, like, I know, I, I know it all. Like, right. And like, some people get nutty, like, oh, you know, it's almost dangerous for the kids, too. But you know what? Uh, there's always a danger in our world. There always is. And I mean, there's danger if you put their name on their backpack going to camp every day. There's, you know, there's a danger everywhere. We just have to realize, though. Our lives are who we are. And there's, you know, either we're going to share it or we're not. You could be a secret agent. You could be a secret loan officer. Lock yourself in the office. Don't do any sales and marketing. And just do the book of business you get, you get. But those who will market better and sell better are going to do just, a, just they broaden their horizons to, a, to an, a huge sales opportunity. It's just a choice. So remember, everybody, Jeff said, Listen, go out and take some pictures during the day. Take a few videos. Keep them on your phone. And then when you're sitting at home at night, instead of watching TV or instead of doing this or whatever, listen, start going on and playing with these things and becoming more comfortable in it. And if you're like of that generation where my my age generation, 51 years old right now, my age isn't the best at these things. Yep. But True. We're, we're getting left behind in a lot of ways by the young, like by the. Right. It's a choice. Yeah, like, are you, I mean, there's no secret that a younger 22, 25, 28 year old loan officer can do a book of business better than a veteran, just like real estate agents too. no secret. So we have a choice, continue to evolve or get stale. And that's your choice of business. It's always a choice. I just say, make a, make a good one. Make it choose wisely. Listen, I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank you, Jeff again for joining and we'll be back on with another topic next week i want to remind everybody that that the link will be in the chat for the seminar also there'll be some other information in the chat if you want to get some instructional videos on on instagram or tiktok or hashtag strategies or or any other coaching with jeff i'll have links to that in the chat as well that you can access so that's great stuff and i want to Ask everyone to please, 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 if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to like this video. Jeff, thanks for joining. Have a, have a, have, listen, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, thanks again, Jeff. Bye bye. Thank you.